In Akka, Abdul Baha organized a small school for Baha'i children who lived in the Holy Land. At the time, very knowledgeable Baha'is lived in the Holy Land, and so the children had very wonderful teachers. One of the subjects taught in the school was calligraphy, which is an art of writing out profound sayings, prayers, and tablets in a very beautiful handwriting that makes it look almost like a painting. And this is an art that has been highly praised by Baha'u'llah and Abdul Baha. Now, every Thursday, the children who had worked on their calligraphy would have the bounty of presenting their own calligraphy from that week to Abdul Baha. And he would look at every child's calligraphy and give them praise or words of encouragement. If the calligraphy was particularly well done, Abdul Baha would bless the child by writing in his own handwriting at the bottom of their calligraphy words of commendation and of praise for their excellent effort and work. Well, there was one boy named Muhammad. He was about 12 or 13. He was a very intelligent and smart boy, but he didn't like to put extra effort into things. Whenever he would sit down to do his homework, he would get an urge to go outside and play. And even though he really wanted to get Abdul Baha's praise on his calligraphy, he never seemed to be able to sit himself down long enough to work on it, to make it really excellent. Except one week, he gathered all of his willpower and he worked very hard to improve his calligraphy. That Thursday, he went and stood in line to show it to Abdul Baha and Abdul Baha was very pleased. And what did he do? Abdul Baha wrote in his own hand at the bottom of his page, words of praise for his excellent calligraphy. Muhammad was so overjoyed. He knew that he would treasure this for the rest of his life. He was sure that he must be the most fortunate boy in the whole universe to have a page that Abdul Baha himself had praised. And then he thought, why don't I do this every week? Why don't I work on my calligraphy so that I can get Abdul Baha's praise on my work every single week? That's what I'm going to do, he decided. But then the whole week went by and he was, he was not able to muster that same willpower. He kept just wanting to go outside and play and a whole week rolled around and he had not produced any calligraphy that was good enough to win the praise of Abdul Baha. And then he had a thought. He thought, Abdul Baha is so busy. He has many things to do. He's never gonna remember the calligraphy of some little boy, right? So he got the idea to get some scissors to last week's calligraphy, the one that Abdul Baha had praised. And you know what he did? He decided to cut off Abdul Baha's words of praise on last week's so that he could present the same excellent calligraphy a second time and pretend that it was a new one. Now this was a very dishonest thing to do. And Muhammad was usually a very trustworthy and truthful boy. But his mind had been poisoned by a dishonest thought and he wasn't strong enough to overcome it. So Thursday afternoon came and 
Mohammed felt so bad about his plan as he stood in line with last week's calligraphy. He was feeling really, really guilty about this. And by the time he reached Abdul Baha in line to present his calligraphy, he could hardly even look at Abdul Baha because his conscience was telling him that what he had done was wrong. Abdul Baha took one look at the calligraphy and he knew. And what do you think he did? Do you think that he announced to everyone there that Muhammad had done something wrong and shamed him in front of everyone? No. Abdul Baha was loving and kind as always. But he was very, very firm. And he noted to Muhammad, who, remember, could hardly even look at him. He was so ashamed already. And Abdul Baha mentioned to him that the calligraphy looked very much like it did last week. And then he patted Muhammad very gently in a way that let him know that he knew what he had done. And that was it. But that was enough for Muhammad to realize that it felt so much better to put the effort in to make his calligraphy excellent and win the pleasure of Abdu'l-Bahá than to be found out for his dishonesty. So next time, he would muster his willpower and work to make his calligraphy as excellent as he knew it could be.